High Station of Star Wars Celebration is held in four weeks' time, but I believe there's a potential for Marvel to creep in and essentially hijack parts of Star Wars Celebration, and there's four reasons why this might happen. Number one is that Avengers Endgame is released only two weeks after Star Wars Celebration, so there'll be a lot of build-up in terms of excitement and you know just general online chatter about Endgame. There might be more, even another trailer, more posters, maybe more television spots, trying to promote the movie as it comes closer to the release date. Number two is that Captain Marvel was a huge success with a solo bomb, so that will perhaps motivate or give the impression to many science fiction fans that they should actually focus more on Marvel than Star Wars. And a lot of the Star Wars fans, even though they've been lifelong Star Wars fans, might be quite apprehensive towards the future of Star Wars, but they're also fans of Marvel, they'll be more excited about the future of Marvel. So that if they want to go there and talk about what they really enjoy most, they're more excited about it, it could actually be Marvel. So some of the fans might actually drop Star Wars to talk about Marvel. And it's not a bad thing because, from Disney's point of view, because they're, they're both owned by Disney. And number three, there's there's going to be fierce competition between Lucasfilm and Marvel. Both camps will want the highest box office rating, the highest custom, you know, critic reviews. And it is a healthy competition. I'm not saying it's negative, but it's a healthy competition. So they both want to sort of outdo one another. Now Disney, from from their point of view, they won't want Marvel to be a part of Star Wars celebrations. They'll want to market both intellectual properties to their full potential and make as much money as, as possible and finally number four is uh, although they are owned by disney they're, they're obviously both star wars franchises so you might have some let's say for example a funko pop store that sells both star wars and marvel characters and disney won't mind financially because they're both you know they're both they make money out of both franchises so it could be that some star wars fans are going to star wars celebration and what they want to talk about more, what they're most positive and excited about, is actually Marvel. But let me know what you think in the comments below, because if it does happen, it might actually create some negative publicity for Star Wars. And some of the you know, journalists might write about how they go to Star Wars Celebration, and there's actually Star Wars fans more excited and talking and having conversations about Marvel than Star Wars. And it might be another a dent to the Star Wars franchise that that where you have Star Wars fans who are more excited about Marvel, even at a Star Wars Celebration event. So, I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to be a huge element, but there might be a number of fans who are actually more excited and want to see a Marvel movie more than a Star Wars movie. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, you know, I think, it's, I think it could happen. I think there's the, the, the chance that Marvel could actually hijack this event, especially with Avengers Endgame coming out only two weeks after the Star Wars Celebration has been held. That would have a huge impact on the excitement and the talk and the conversation that people are having at Star Wars Celebration.